The Great Hunt is one of Conan Exile's new temporary features added in Age of War Chapter 4. You may have noticed you've been attacked by hyenas, and when you kill them, you can acquire some fangs and some pouches and some other things. If you gather those fangs and head on over to D8, right above where you enter into the Jebel Sarg dungeon, you can come talk to this person and get a little bit of a story of what's happening here. Get a little hint. Leave the hunt if you do not want to participate and get attacked by those hyenas, were hyenas, whatever these fellas. And then there's a little merchant that you can talk to that will give you some fun stuff. You will need some of this stuff to in fact participate in the hunt because some of those hints will tell you you can't be clothed. You need to be naked and you will need some of these lures. On the average they drop a couple of fangs each so you're gonna have to kill a few and sometimes they come a few at a time. I did not partake in the test beta because I'm sick of that shit. So this is my first time doing the hunt so we're doing it first time together. Should be interesting. Probably gonna die. And at the end we'll be going through a bunch of the rewards and things like that and why you want to go hunt these champions and learn Jebel Sarg in general. I also have a guide on the Jebel Sarg dungeon and all of that. There are three hunt sites amongst the map and those stories do hint at their whereabouts but I will show you here today. One here near Buccaneer Bay. They are kind of discreet so do keep your eyes peeled. They are looking a lot like rocks. You simply go up to it. You do need to equip the lure into your hotbar and place it onto the trap and it's going to lure a dude out essentially. We do need to be naked so strip yourself of these and apply your wall paint. If you die you'll need another wall paint. Whoa! Of course he's coming out. He goes down pretty easy if you um happen to oh god my keybinds are on the wrong thing. Um, if you happen to be naked and wearing that wall paint, otherwise you won't do a whole bunch of damage. I'm trying to take advantage of my glutton for punishment, but I also didn't bother to take any buffs before doing this, so that sucks for me. See if I can- oh god. I actually hate the new inventory thing, not gonna lie. I just took the wrong buff too, because I was meant to have followers with me, I never did that. <laughs> So yeah, you could definitely prepare for this slightly better than I did. Bring a follower so they can at least tank them a little bit. Have your keybinds set on the right keybinds. That helps. His attacks are a little hard to avoid. Like he's a little close. That's annoying. That's where it would come in beneficial to have that thrall. Just to keep them a little bit distracted. Ugh. I was able to get some heals in then. <laughs> I do believe this is one of the easier ones too, so that's fun. But if my dodgy fighty ass can do it, you can definitely do it. I'll show you what type of stats I have in a moment. They're not like most meta stats, I don't really ever play meta. Unless sometimes I'm playing against really sweaty people on PvP. Feel free to avoid more of his attacks and use your glutton for punishment a little bit more. Use your sated while you're running around. All of those things are beneficial. Of course, I am level 60, which helps. So he's given us some more fangs, which is handy because we do need to go buy another lure. And hacking him up will give us some shade bloom and some demon spice. Demon spice? Demon plaid and <laughs> that one. And you can place another lure here and fight him again and get your other little brand of the panther, which we will need for later. So equip your armor again very difficultly because you can no longer just right click. You can probably re keybind that, but the fact that they took it away and just made it some weird split button and now I just split stuff instead of consuming it's super cool. Our next one is located in the more middle of the map by the black galleon ship just on the bottom side. Now consume your correct buffs and prepare prior to putting down the lure. I might even get naked first even. I can't remember in the chaos if I mentioned earlier if you die you will need to re-tattoo so keep that in mind. It's actually a pretty dope tattoo. Oh I never re-key bound that's gonna be fun. It can be beneficial to take out some of the thralls in the area. And I'm sure you could also use bows and arrows from some type of high vantage point. I want to try and keep to his underside as much as possible. Because rhinos can mess you up every now and then pretty decently. I feel like he's almost easier than the panther to be honest. If you want to change weapons quickly you can kind of do a roll and that enables you to change quite quickly while you're rolling take advantage of some of that thunder on occasion. 
There's things like rhinos tend to have a lot of armor, so it is good to take a variety of different weapons. I'm not sure if these guys poison. I assume they do, but I haven't tested that. Yeah, this guy's barely messing me up at all. A panther was way harder. Must tank that whole dude. And get you whatever and hack him up. I'm sure you could use a skinning knife and get like even better goodies. He gave me some gold, some bestial potions, potions of natural learning, in case you just randomly want to reset your feats. And third and finally, we have the frost one. Right near the frost obelisk at the frozen temple. Pretty easy to get to. Might want to bring some warm food with you as you will be naked. Can get cold here if like they hit you. I don't know why they'd aggro, but it's a good idea to bring some warm food and you probably need some to get here for the first time if you don't have the obelisk unlocked. Again, refresh any foods you so need and or stuff on your hump bar prior to doing it because they do spawn in pretty quick. Where are they? Ooh. Ah, wrong button. Wrong buttons! <laughs> I probably want to- Oh, didn't avoid that enough. I was gonna say I probably want to avoid that attack, but here we are. Whoa, okay. I see you, Mammoth. I'm here. Come back! Well. So yeah, he's definitely a bit of a harder fella, but fun facts, um, I've done them in order of light, medium and heavy armor requirements, which is funny because you don't have to have any armor on them. Oh no, he's returning home. He ran over there. He ran over there. What do you mean he's now returning home? This is Funcom for you. Okay, never mind. I'll do all of that again. I'll wait for him to come back over here because heaven forbid. I do damage and he bail again. Fuck me. I did notice that um, the Thrall's knockout bars don't seem to regen quite like they used to when they returned home, so that's at least something, but I do have to test that out a little bit more. Oh, my cat is not impressed in the background at something. Super meowy. Ugh, oh, that actually annoyed me so much. Hey, kitten. What's up? I don't know if y'all can hear her in the mic. Just came telling me stories. Oh, better stay here in case it runs away. Oh, she's very interested in me whacking the mammoth. No. Ah, I meant to avoid Well, I avoided that mostly. So yeah, actually hacking these guys up for their hides will give you, as I was saying before, he so rudely ran away, um, give you the requirements for making each tier of armor in sequestion. Hence why I thought that would be the order that you would fight them in, but that rhino definitely seemed a lot easier than the panther for surezies. This guy is about as annoying as old mammoths used to be. I swear this is what it felt like just fighting a mammoth in general before... Oh, which update was it? I don't know, they've done so many updates in recent times I just I can't keep up. They didn't change the game for years and then they just decided to give us crazy ventures out of nowhere. Woo! Let's not die, let's not die! Sorry to subject you all to that. This is kind of slow. He's much easier to heal than, um, heal from than the others. Just for that slowness. So yeah, if you hack them up with a skinning knife, that could be more beneficial. I'm just using this because that's what I have. And um, you will get a little bit of the hides with a pickaxe. You get a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Now we've got all three of our brands. We head back to the altar here. So I'm sure you could possibly do it in your own Jebel Sarg altar. I think you do have to come to this specialized one because it doesn't give me any of the other Jebel Sarg recipes in here. And we craft. Then we buy a potion of the hunt and we can consume him. It's not wildly straightforward that that's what you have to do, but I pretty much just guessed it from reading the Lua's description and I considered the fact that that potion looks a lot like the Midnight Potion but a little different and expires. It was Z1. You come here and get a whole bunch of Amanitas. Looks like we are an instance from the Jebel Sarg dungeon and I'm assuming... no, nope, you can't drink that. You probably have to drink the water behind us. I should also mention if it's not the correct Lua location, it won't let you place a lure. It will be green if it is correct. So don't be afraid of accidentally wasting them. And then our big berry friend will appear after a moment. Um, can you not pummel me? Thank you, sir. Prefer. Wow, he caught me from like some miles away. This guy, man. 
Woo. Obviously trying poison and stuff would well can you calm the fuck down, dude? He was always bound to be the worst because he's a champion or whatever, but that's stupid. If you came in here without full health, you'd just be dead. But this is a temporary thing and some of the rewards may be worth it, but we're going to say they're probably not. When I think that is worth it, they will likely nerf Beyond Oblivion and make it completely not worth it as per standard with Funcom. Oh my god. Like, my skills as a fighter aren't huge, sure, but this guy needs to, like, not have such hands. May I attack you now, my guy? Oh, he's getting all roided up. Did he actually just get bigger in size? Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Unfortunately, I do need more potions. My glutton for punishment isn't wildly helpful here with these repetitive attacks, which is likely their plan. Oh, he's getting old Jebel Saga induced. Kind of cool. Ah, not having my buttons on the right buttons is also really detrimental. I should probably change that at some point. Eh. Something like this rolling thrust would still come in handy here, even though they've nerfed it. The armor penetration would still be handy. I don't have any agility, basically. Okay, yep, nope, definitely caught me in that one. There's not much of a chance I'm going to live through this. <laughs> we'll see. I could bandage, but I know as soon as I bandage, he'll actually, like, actually go for me. Uh, and they've made some of the responsive times also a little more annoying, which you will experience with gameplay. I think I mentioned before I absolutely hate the new inventory as well. The new searching method, all of it is just, it seems like a massive downgrade. So that sucks, but at least we get this for a few months, I guess. Whoa, please do not die. Can we continue rolling sometime instead of just like derping out? Although that does keep things interesting, I suppose. Thank you. Finally. Got a little bitter in there. Tablet of power. That's so random. A whole lot of demon blood. Like, all of the demon blood. That is just water you can drink out of. To leave, I'm assuming we go in here like we would a regular Jebel Sarg exit. It's likely going to take us to Sepumeru. Mm, nope, took us back here. Okay, cool. That's actually kind of handy. Not gonna lie. These guys talk to me yet? Don't know what they do, but they have hold E. You can buy some stuff off this dude. I don't know what any of these are, but you'd hope they'd be good because some of these things are quite expensive and you'd need to be doing a fair bit of grinding of that and the other hyenas to get it. I'm assuming they're scrolls, so once you have learnt them, you've learnt them forever rather than just random items. But what I'm going to do is spawn in a whole bunch of these things and test out some of this stuff. Now we have our pocket full of recipes. We can assume them. Some of these look kind of cool. I don't know if they're worth getting all of the things, so we'll see. We'll see. I hate this so much. I wish I could just press the regular button. Let's place this guy down. See what he gives us. Oh, that they fixed that. He is level zero, so he can level up. That's fun. Let's get him leveled up quickly. Now he's leveled to max. He can get decent HP. I just admin leveled him, so I'm sure if you fed him a 
along the way with some of these bits. That'd be beneficial. There you go, decent stats, which you can of course re-roll with the potions from sorcery, potions of rebirth. This is for another video for testing out the purge, so we'll be doing that in a bit. So you wish to see what we work so hard for? Well, this throne's actually pretty cool. Don't mind it, and the statue's also pretty cool. Was it worth all that? Not sure. Let's leave this throne. How do I do that again? We also got ourselves some spiked traps with some not very good durability. Uh, do they actually spike me? I'm not sure. I'll exit creative mode. They don't spike me, but they might spike other people, but you know, for decor reasons. The throne has decent HP. The statue has insane HP, but doesn't have a flaming nose, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping it was going to. We have a thrall pot, but a fancy thrall pot still won't auto feed your thralls. If the Aquilonian brazer wasn't big enough for you, we also now have the Lemarian brazer. Is she not small? Definitely um, could work in some lost dungeon designs. And then this is just a triple sarg altar. We also have the wall paints. Ones I can currently learn, anywho. And then we have the regalia that is just spawned in, and then one made with a better armorer. You get a whole bunch of agility damage bonuses, and it, it being light armor actually gets a lot more armor from the armor. Then we have the skull hammer spawned in, and well, spawned in and then crafted with the thrall. And same with the claws. We'll give these a little test out. Now the claws are agility based and I do not have any points in agility so it's not really a fair test for that. But the strength weapon is not very comparable so far compared to other strength moles that you can get about fairly easily so I don't know. We'll um, have a go with our unmodded weapon killing the scorpion king. Maybe he'll kill us. I mean it's a fairly average warhammer. You would be able to put poisons on these things because they don't have any added bonuses. It is integrative mode so this guy doesn't attack me. But we can apparently not apply it. Oh, <laughs> never mind their claws. You can't apply poison to claws. But you can apply it to the warhammer and have poison on your warhammer. And it kind of looks cool for a skin. They just look like claws. I hope you enjoy your hunting and I hope you found this information informative. If you'd like to know how to run the Jebel Sarg dungeon and a lot of the benefits that come to doing that. Stick around for that guide after this. If you found this information informative, smash that like button. As always, it means a bunch. If you're not already, consider subscribing. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.